right now i'll be showing you how to reproduce a survey plan how to draw a survey plan how to draw a survey plan that you can see a survey plan already in our screen so i want to show you how we did this how we made it possible and explain every details for you about a survey plan so right now in my screen is an autocad software and um, all these things showing are just different survey plans these ones are just land parcellations like dividing large areas of land into smaller plots like you can see these are large area of land being divided into smaller plots why these ones are actually survey plans something like what we want to produce now so this all this here are just survey plans all these years so i will just um start the design now now um in the survey plan like you are seeing on the screen to start this design to be able to do this accurately we don't just them um, assume we don't just start from anywhere that is why coordinates are on this survey plan you can see at the top part of the survey plan you can see an an arrow symbol there written not not and the figure there is 501 327.000 meters easting and at the right hand side at the middle right hand side you can see another coordinate there of 161202.200 meter melting so this is a point this is a point a boundary point coordinate this is a boundary the coordinate the coordinate of a boundary point of it of this survey plan so since this survey plan we have the this land we have four boundary point we have four boundary point but only one boundary point coordinate was given to us so we are going to start with that point boundary coordinate then we're going to use the bearing and distances written on the land written on the line line of those lands written on those lands and to be able to complete the survey plan so we're going to start now so i will first click to start i will click online once i click online I then insert those coordinates there, which is 501 327.000, then comma 161202.200. Then I click enter. It will then carry me to the point where that land is in the coordinate system in the land coordinate system so this is where this point is it can carry me to any area around this but this is where this point is it, it, it don't just assume that is here no but this is if i click at that same point that is that same coordinate to show me so this is the first point that was picked then we will not continue drawing the rest with called with bearing and distances so to do that we're going to click the first bearing and distances because the because the coordinate the boundary point coordinate that we just inserted now is the left one at the top left boundary point at the point at the top the one close to 31 degrees of 59 of, of 15.29 meters so next the next to so now the boundary the boundary bearing and distance we're going to start with is going to be 0 078 degrees 19 minutes and 21.32.40 meters so we're going to insert i want to go click with at want to click at the unit inside the distance that 2.40 then we're going to click less than then we'll add the, the bearing and distance the bearing the 078d 19 minutes then we'll click enter so you can see it has drew this one perfectly for us it has done it perfectly for us then we'll come over to the next side we'll go with again at you can see the art is already showing there at you insert the distance 14.60 shift less than 175.175 d 14 minutes
and enter to have joined this one perfectly for us to move over to the next one ship at once you insert your art which is most times in our keyboard system shift 2 is our art then the distance is 32.30 less than then 257d 257d that's degrees there change to d then 04 minutes then we'll click enter we can just close this one if we want to but if you want to sync confirm if this bearing and distance is actually correct you can still also insert it as at the distance is 15.29 less than 354d 31 minute enter so right now i have you can see that the distance is correct it's actually closed at that point then i can click either escape or space bar so this is now how the land is this is the land this is the land it has i've successfully draw the survey plan back so right now i want to show you how to insert other things and what other things means in your design what other things can also mean how to interpret other things and what they mean in your design so offset the road first now this is our offset to right there now click on offset i'll give you a boundary of 0.9 from this particular side then of six meters from the other side so this one now will now, will now offset another one this one is a 0.9 offset then i'll offset this of six meters so this is now the road you can go by just stretching this ensure that the lines are actually straight when you're stretching all right and i think change it to a red like line so this is the land and it has been drawn back so since i actually have survey sample i can just come here and copy one of these to just make the design very fast so i can just you can just make it of test right here to write what you want to write you can see a test symbol here but if you watch at this design now this particular survey plan has wf in between the the bearings this the top ones are the bearings the bottom ones are the distance this wf means wall fence it interprets that at the point of survey of this land there was the land has already been fenced so but this particular one we are just designing now has not been fenced that is why we are not seeing wall fence there we can just continue from here I'll click on rotate to just be fast about the survey plan. So I can then write the bearing and distance, which is zero seventy eight degrees. This will be deleted. Why this is nineteen? Then this is 32 meters point 32.40 meters. So I've done this. I can come over to the next side. I can move this. Okay, I'm going to copy. I can copy this to the next side. Now, one thing you should know is that in writing your bearing and distances, your distances should be the one inside written inside the land why the bearing should be written outside that is how survey plan is being written so i'm going to cut this and place this here so that the distances can come up and the bearings can come down so having done that the distance there is that 2.30 meters then 257 257.04 
so having done that i can then move over to the other side of the land and then move this also copy come here and rotate So this is 14 point six zero meters and then one seven five point fourteen minutes. So I'll try to reduce this particular one right here so that because the distance is not long like the width is not long like the length so if it's still much more long I can still use this for that okay. so I'll move this this side Okay, having done that, I can then move over to the last boundary line. Remember, this one will come up because the distance should be inside the land while the bearing outside the land. So the bearing here is three five four point three one. The distance here is fifteen point two nine. Okay, so I can then move this. Right there. So successfully, I can also copy an access road since I have one here to be very fast. I can also write your access road to yourself using the test symbol. So I can rotate this. Then move this. Alright. Okay. So successfully now I've been able to draw the survey plan so I can just them um, successfully now be able to draw the survey plan so I can just them um, delete this particular one here and show you guys how I was able to do other things in few minutes so I'm going to show you guys how I'm able to do I'll just copy this and then um, I'll move this right here inside the land now in this survey plan this thing here is the plan number just like the office the survey office every every office is have something like a number they reference to to look for, to look for a document now in this survey office this is a number this is the number of this plan so whenever the client or the surveyor is looking for this particular plan he will just once he has this once he has this particular number or whenever the client comes to look for his plan and he submit this plan number we can just um, immediately inside the plan number and get the plan for the person now this plan is showing plan showing land property of Uzoichi Joy C at Avu Oiro West local government in state so this is the ownership of the land is directing to the person of the ownership that is why for a land documentation the survey plan is very very important because it is one of the main document that states that this particular property belongs to this person it's not like um, the deed of convenience of deed of ownership or whatever you call it in your area this particular one shows that the particular land belongs to this person at this location and this is the scale of drawing and right here you then see the area of the land 
then this particular lines that are in four just means the coordinate the coordinate we will just pick one coordinate of the land we're going to pick a coordinate of the land and just write we'll write the northing write the eastern and the northing here then the plan number also see repeat itself the, this this is now the deposition number this is issued by the state government of that land then this is now this this particular empty space right here is where the second seal will be sealed with the second stamp is very is going to stamp his, his seal right here then we have the statement of or declaration of the survey of the surveyor that this is to copy of the original plan was made by me on this day and he will put his signature right here then he starts his name and his office location so this is how a complete survey plan has been drawn i'll be able to show you how i was able to redraw these things and um, make the whole thing very much possible very much realistic so you yourself can be able to do all these things i believe so ensure you like share and subscribe to youtube channel for more amazing videos on survey plans see you